Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, so there's a new uh, 3D benchmark test that came out and uh, I've been trying it uh, and it's been giving really high scores uh, for the Galaxy S4, so we're going to do the Galaxy S4 3D mark uh, test. So we're going to do it on both the default one and then the extreme run to show you how it goes and then I'll show you um, the current scores that I've gotten as well as uh, the average scores to show you where the S4 lies in this new 3D Mark uh, test. So first we're going to run the regular Ice Storm and uh, one thing I have to give credit for uh, this benchmark test it does by far give the best visual I've seen to date uh, for uh, benchmarks uh, for benchmark test. So it kind of makes it like a full like adventure kind of style and I think that's why it's gaining a lot of popularity uh, very quickly. Um, and it tests uh, really uh, the phone I would say to really strong levels compared to what other benchmark scores tested to. So this is just a really beautiful looking one on the uh, 1080p screen on the screen. That's about it. hit that. So that's the initial uh, part of the test, and then it does like, I believe, uh, two or three more where it's uh, testing out, I'm not sure if it's testing out more just so the graphics um, or CPU, but it's kind of like um, testing out more single stuff in comparison to testing out everything. Uh, but you can see, um, as you'll see the results, this is probably the smoothest uh, time you'll ever see um, this benchmark run. Just because comparing to every other phone, uh, they don't really compare to the S4. Um, now, I want to point out this is the Qualcomm version. Uh, so the 1.9 uh, quad-core with the Adreno uh, 320 graphics card. So this uh, should score quite higher comparing to the octa-core version. It does have a better battery life, but does not have uh, as the speed and uh, the graphics that uh, this version has. And although they say like, oh, well, benchmark sports on everything, they're usually a pretty good indicator of how like fast everything will actually move uh, for the most part. Um, and oh, see, we saw a little stuttering there, um, and then it just kind of bounced right back. Um, so you know, it's not perfect. It's still, but it's just uh, pretty much probably the best one out there uh, that we've seen. And now the bubbles ones, which I think test out the graphics, I would assume or just the responsiveness of the bouncing on the screen. Um, 
and then that'll be the last one and then it should uh, go to the results for this one. All right, really? Okay, I'm not sure if it just kind of uh, ended at the end there. Um, we'll see. Nope, it's still uh, got the result because I have not run it today. So, um, so the result was 1150, uh, 1158587. Uh, just kind of give you an idea of all of the, oh, what the heck? Okay, this is giving problems for obviously right now. Uh, by the way, one thing I want to point out is uh, even though I've emailed them several times, they show this score as my highest, although you can see it's usually in the 11s uh, more so, um, and even 12s at times. But if you see my average for the regular ice storm, so not extreme, uh, you can see it's closer to the 11s almost every single time. It has been in the 10s at some point, but, you know, by far, widely more the 11s. Um, and it still says my high score is um, that instead. Um, for some reason, it's not letting me go into it right now. Uh, but um, now let's just run the extreme one. So now we will run the extreme and see how that runs. And you should be able to get this even for like Windows RT and other like, you know, full OS's. So I'd be kind of curious to see how those will stack up against this one. Uh, for the all results that it gives me, it's only on other Android devices, I believe, but we'll double check that in a second when we see all the results. This never used to go on landscape before, actually. That's kind of curious. Or maybe that's why it's not... Wow, really. Okay. I am just going to clear all of this because apparently something's going wrong with this application as I'm demoing it. But uh, as I go back, we'll see the average score even if it didn't uh, record it properly. 
Uh, so no, it did not record it properly. You can see uh, my highest one, I believe, is correct, and it's 72.45, and it typically goes around that, so 71, uh, 112, 72.45, um, six, uh, seven, one, six, 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 eight, five, four. So those are the average numbers. And now here's the thing. Uh, so you can see mine. So for first for normal, I tend to go around the elevens almost every time. However, the average for the S4 is around closer to the tens. Um, so my phone is definitely scoring higher than I guess the average, but you can still see the S4 is by far better compared to every other phone on the market from the Sharp and the Pantex that aren't really out yet uh, to the other ones on the market like the HTC One, uh, Nexus 4, you know, uh, Optimus G Pro, Sony Xperia Z, they're just way down there. Uh, now keep in mind the um, Octa-core version is closer to, um, you know, the Xperia Z and Droid DNA and LG Optimus G, which were all uh, last year's S4 Pro in comparison to that one. So the Octa-core one's closer to that, but definitely when it comes to pure speed, it will go to the Qualcomm 1.9 quad-core uh, processor on this S4. Now, uh, the other thing I want to show off is, um, again, my... Scores are closer to the 7,000s for the most part, um, have been averaging towards the 7,000 range. Now I did go, you know, 6,000s at one point, but that's far in between. On average, they're above 7,000 each time. However, on here, oops, the average seems to be around uh, 6, 8, which again, um, you know, comparing to the other high-end phones on the market, the HTC One doesn't really compare to it, as well as um, on this one, the Nexus 4 and Xperia Z are way down there, even comparing to the uh, octa-core version. So, um, yeah, when it comes to the Extreme One and even when you see the Nexus 10 down there, um, basically, but easily, the S4 easily trumps the competition on this uh, processor, uh, on this uh, 3D mark comparison. So yeah guys, um, hopefully you like this uh, comparison for the new 3D mark uh, benchmark test. Um, if you have any questions about it, feel free to ask. This has been RCKY, the Android guy.